Joe, where are you going in such a hurry? Didn't you hear? The weather report is predicting heavy rain and severe flooding in our area. No, I didn't hear that. I haven't watched the news in a few days. I'm headed to the store to buy sandbags. Sandbags? Why? To stop the water from entering my house. You should do the same thing. I think I'll just evacuate if that happens. I can't do that. I need to stay here with all of my animals. You don't have any place to take them? No, I need to make sure they are safe. Do you need help loading the sandbags into your truck? That would be great. Aren't you worried at all? I guess I should be, but every time the weather person says something terrible is going to happen, it never does. Well, I'm not risking it this time. Now you have me worried. You should be. Honey, are you okay? Yes, are you okay? Yeah, I've never felt an earthquake before. Me too. That was scary. We've experienced hurricanes, but never an earthquake. I'm going to look around and see how bad the damage is. Be careful. There could be aftershocks. I know. Don't go outside. The power is down. There could be power lines on the ground. Okay. Where are the dogs? I found them. They're both under the bed. They must be scared. I wish we could watch the news. I want to know how much damage this earthquake caused. Let me find the radio. We can listen to the news. I think it's in the garage. Do we have any batteries for it? Yeah. Let me get them. I knew the big one was coming one day, but we weren't prepared. Yeah, that was a big mistake. We better pack an emergency kit for next time. I just spoke with my mom. She and my dad are devastated. The fire is moving closer to their home. What can they do? The firefighters say there is nothing they can do at this point. They have to evacuate immediately. That's horrible. I know. I wish I could help them, but we live in another state. Where are they going to stay tonight? They're going to stay with my sister until they find another place to live. Why don't they stay with us, too? They can come here after things settle down. That might be a good idea. Maybe being away from there will help them forget about all of this. Well, they will never forget. But hopefully, they will be able to move on. Bob, I'm so sad. That was my childhood home. I have so many memories of that place. I'm sorry. I know this must be very difficult for you and your parents. Thanks. My sister, too. She and I grew up in that house. My parents lived there for 40 years. I can't believe a wildfire can destroy everything so quickly. It's just terrible. They're going to lose everything. The firefighters gave them only a few hours to pack. Is anyone helping them pack? Yeah, my sister is with them. She's going to call me later tonight.